Okay, I'm right now at NUS National University of Singapore and I'm gonna do my VO2 max test today. I'm getting ready for my first run. Okay, at this point my GoPro died. Um, so I did a 12 minute run and it was broken into 4 parts of 3 minutes each. The first 3 minutes was 12 km per hour and then each 3 minutes you go up by 1 km per hour. So 12, 13, 14, 15. So we did that 12 minute run for them to gauge how fast the speed of my VO2 test will be. So after doing that run, I had a 5 to 10 minutes break and then I, uh, I started with my VO2 run. So, so the footage you're gonna see from the VO2 run is from my handphone. Alright, let's get back to the video. Yeah, so in, in any case, you wanna stop the straddle? Yeah. Okay. You guys signal first, yeah? Then straddle. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> uh, so here I am sitting on the treadmill and allowing these uh, research students to put this contraption on my head. That was stretching and after this I'm about to go. Whee! Oh yeah, I think I should explain the test a little bit. So, so from the result of that 12 minute run I did previously, they decided that my running speed for the VO2 max test would be 14.5 km per hour. So how the test works was uh, run at the same speed but every minute uh, they will increase the gradient by 1%. So I topped off at uh, about 8 or 9% gradient. Uh, yeah, you can see how much I died over here. It's horrible. <sighs> oh, by the way, I keep slipping back on the treadmill because the treadmill was quite short. So the researchers kept telling me to uh, move forward, move forward because I was about to fall off the back. <laughs> okay, this is the part where I was really dying. All my form was starting to break, leaning forward, head up. This is one of the most tiring things you can ever do in your life. <laughs> in my head, I was just thinking when the body says you're done, you're actually 40% there only. Yeah, I think that was like by David Goggins. <laughs> okay, now you can really see I'm really, really starting to get tired. <laughs> oh no. And then slightly after this, I stopped. But the video wasn't recorded unfortunately. Yeah, so just enjoy watching me giving it my all for a few more seconds. You can see my drool coming out from my mouth or so. <laughs> okay, so today is 5 days after the test. Uh, I just got back my result. And unfortunately, my VO2 max dropped from 71 to 69 uh, millimoles per something something kg. But my fat percentage also dropped from 9.2 to 9.0. I think I didn't really feel that good during this test than the previous one. That might explain the a bit lower VO2 max test result. Um, but anyway, at least I know my VO2 max is around 70, um, which is still pretty high, so not too bad. And having done a second test on a different treadmill, which means it's not a mechanical error, and my VO2 max is actually pretty high. Okay, so see you guys again in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.